Hello YouTubers! Dream Void here, along with Tippy2000 and Pink Raccoon Gaming. Today, we'll be doing my first tutorial video, which happens to be about, you guessed it, logic gates. See all these red and devices up here? Each one of these is a logic gate. Any questions? Now the first one, and, and will only allow redstone signals through if both redstone signals are activated. Redstone signal means that these two blocks are being powered in this case. See what I mean? To demonstrate, this block will only turn on when both levers are down. Next, or, either lever will turn it on. Doesn't matter which. Any combination, no matter what you try to turn it on. Next is NAND, which will only turn off if both levers are down or red inputs. You have NOT, which will give the opposite of whatever you plan the exact opposite. You have NOR, which is the opposite of OR gate. It will give you the opposite, no matter which input you use. XOR. Now here things get tricky. With XOR, what's happening is, for instance, you can turn this one on, turns on. Both on, though, it turns off. You can only have one input work. With XOR, only one input can turn on. Any input will work, but only one can be on at the same time as two. XNOR is pretty much the same, but with inverted. Hello, Pink Raccoon Gaming. Have any questions? Okay. To demonstrate. Now this definitely works. It's usually done by inverting input. Here I've demonstrated stuff in which you try inverting the output to demonstrate. Now here, you'd have it where, whenever you power it, instead what happens is, it turns off. Now that's the, usually the right way you do. You invert both the output. Now, here is the, a gate called the only. It, only if both This is off, and this is on, and this works. They act similar to an AND gate, but slightly different. So, let me explain. This input will not do anything unless this input's on, and this input alone is all you really need. This input doesn't matter unless you have this. Only this one. Now we have a unique world gate called subjective gate. It's a it's in a class of redstone circuits that are well the pits simply they aren't used very often, but they're called analog circuits. They tend to work with hexadecimal rather than binary, unlike most written circuits. This one works by giving different power level inputs depending on which combination you put in. It's similar to a multiplication machine in some ways. Now, let's see. It also is designed to work well with clocks, creating different clock signals based on what you put in. It's basically mashing these together and looping them around to alter the signals. They'll affect each other, they subtract from each other, and if at full strength, for instance, you did this. visibly the alterations. It's 
meant to be somewhat reversible. So that brings us to some of the ones I'm going to be talking about later. So here we go. This is the power level or Goldilocks gate. As the signs say, as you can see, this one uses analog input as well. That's going to deliver binary. Oh, let me fix this. There we go. As you can see, it works based on what power level you can. To demonstrate, the greater the power level, the higher up you get. You, it switches from one input to the next, depending on which power level you use. If it's too strong, you don't get the input you want. If it's too weak, you don't get the input you want. It's all determined by signal strength, similar to how some relays work. Now here we have what's called an inhibit gate. This gate isn't used very often because it's not really very useful. If you turn this on, then you turn, then you basically have to turn these off, then you have everything off. Basically, most two or three will inhibit the signal only, but one, if pressed no matter what, will enable it. I have a variation up ahead. This is an OR gate. I mean, this is actually a fan out gate. It's the exact opposite of OR gate. But you might be wondering, you said that was a NOR gate. There are different types of opposites in different degrees. This is a particular type because instead of combining signals like an OR gate, what this one will do is it's going to set, it's going to divide them into equal signals. It's actually going to fan them out and distribute them. Signal strength is perfectly maintained. Each is a duplicate of the original. Now we have the XAND gate, which is the AND equivalent to an XOR gate. To demonstrate, when any one of these switches is turned on, it will turn off the output. When both are off, though, input is on. So as long as switches are the same, input's on. Inhibit 2 works the same way as inhibit 1. Just a variation I want to show you. Now we have what's called a majority gate. Majority gate will only work if more than half of the inputs are on. In this case, this means 2 out of 3. See, nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. What about if you do it like this? On. And if you do it like this? On. And if you do it like this? Also on. Excellent system of inputs. Now we have here a C not gate. This works beca and because it's basically a variation of the not gate. It will only work. Well, it works no matter what you do. But here's what I mean. See? Gives you the exact input you put in. But what about when you turn this on? Now, it inverts it. It's basically an inverter you can turn on and off. Not very useful unless you have a way of producing qubits in Minecraft or superpositions. Superposition data on red and Minecraft. This is a variation called CC knot. Pretty much the same so far. Now here, this doesn't work unless you turn this on. Now, this will invert. But if any of these two are off, this will invert. It's now the C knot and CC knot are both fully reversible, and so is the game I'm about to show you, which is made out of them. This swap, also known as C swap. You might wonder, you can switch redstone signals around easily, but not quite like this. This is meant to be used to cre actually create qubits if you have a way of producing a superposition that can be read in 
it modified by redstone. Here's what I mean. Now here, you get different combinations. It's basically going to mix your signal up and swap it around. Once you had fun playing with it, you're going to notice an interesting pattern for this one's truth table. This is actually pretty good. If you ever figure out how to make the quantum circuit on Minecraft, you're going to need these. Anyway, that is all the logic gates I have for you today. And this has been a real pleasure. I'm glad I could show you this. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. There we drink.